Hi, and welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So today, we'll be discussing about the use of Wi-Fi Pineapple. So this is the box that you see if you purchase the Wi-Fi Pineapple Nano. So of course, directly from here, what you get is a hardware that actually can do a lot of Wi-Fi access point in terms of providing modules to do a lot of wireless hacking and so on. So it's a wonderful tool, especially because it is highly modular. So this is exactly what you get once you have Wi-Fi Pineapple. And of course, from here, you can actually see that we can insert a SD card, a very, very small SD card at the site. And from there, you'll be able to plan a lot of additional modules on it. So this is really, really helpful, especially in terms of if you want a plug and play, easy to deploy the round access point to actually scan the wireless network for potential floors, to look out for broke devices and so on. And you can actually do a lot of these key capabilities with the Wi-Fi Pineapple. So for today's tutorial, we will be discussing about how you can install, set up the Wi-Fi Pineapple Nano. And directly from there, we'll be discussing a lot on the advanced tutorials and subsequent videos. So without further ado, let us get started on today's tutorial. So not only do you need the Wi-Fi Pineapple, but you also need to make sure that you have two wireless adapters. And one wireless adapter is for connecting into the Wi-Fi Pineapple. And the second adapter is for you to connect into your home internet or the internet network so that you can provide the internet services through your Wi-Fi Pineapple, whoever is connected into your access point. So the first thing you want to do is to be able to plug in your Wi-Fi Pineapple into a USB. So over here, once you plug it in, you will be able to see that the power sign is shifting up and you can see it is being lighted up in blue and you'll see the blinking light in blue. So once it is started, you can connect to it wirelessly. So over here, we have connected the Wi-Fi Pineapple into the system. So you can actually go into the wiki.wifipineapple.com to look up for instructions. So over here, what we can see is we have the Wi-Fi Pineapple web interface. And on the bottom right side, I actually have two wireless connections. So one is Wi-Fi tree and the other is wireless network connection. So we'll have the Wi-Fi tree connected to a place where there is internet connection. And we'll be using the wireless network connection to connect directly to pineapple underscore 6C71. So once we click connect, we can actually go into the web interface. So over here on the instruction page, we can access the web interface by browsing into 172.16.41.1 and port 1471. So go ahead and click on that. And this will bring us into the welcome get started page of Wi-Fi Pineapple. So go ahead and click get started. And once you're in, you can see some of the changes and you can click continue. And of course, it is still booting and you actually have to hold on to reset button for two or more seconds to continue with Wi-Fi enabled. So the reset button is right at the bottom of the Wi-Fi Pineapple. So you just have to press it for one, two. And of course, once you're done with two seconds, you will be connected directly in. So we need to set the root password so you can set the root password as whatever is most convenient for you and of course more secure as well and the time zone of course i'll be setting it to singapore because i'm based out of singapore and in terms of the management ssid we are going to choose pine apple wi-fi as the management ssid and we will have the wpa2 password as well and once we have set all this information what we can do you see you have the option to hide the management ap all disable it all together or over here you can see the open ap is used with pine ap for the targets connect to and of course what is your radio country code and of course like i mentioned earlier we are based in singapore here so we can see those information so in allow mode only selected mac address are allowed to connect to the open ap so of course we're going to allow that and about SSID modes, again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to allow all this information. And of course, you can read the end user license agreement as well as the software license during your free time. And here, likewise, read through them. And once you're done, you can accept all this information. Click on complete setup. And once you click on complete setup, it may take a while for the setup to complete. And what happened is that you're directly disconnected from the wireless access because you do not have the password access into the new setup. 
So what we will do right now is we will access directly and go back into the wireless adapter. So here we can see Pineapple Wi-Fi that we have specified earlier and we can click connect. And of course, when we're connecting, this is the part once we connect it, we can actually enter the root password. And this is when once we can log in directly into the system and we can see the dashboard information and so on. So moving forward, what we will see is we can click load bulletins. And what happened is that because you do not have an internet connection for your Pine AP, you will not be able to load any bulletins or internet information in relation to your setup. So what we'll do is we can actually go into network connections. So we can go into Ethernet settings. And over here, we can go into change adapter options. So once you click on change adapter options, what you can do next is you can actually change the information. So remember, Wi-Fi tree is the one with the internet connection and wireless network connection is the one connecting to your Pineapple. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on properties for Wi-Fi tree. And once we're in properties for Wi-Fi tree, we can go into sharing and we can allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection and allow them to control the disable shared internet connection. So we we'll select wireless network connection and once we're done, we can look at settings, any specific services you want to allow and we can go ahead and click OK. So this may take a while for the connection to start and the tether ring will begin and your wireless network connection or your Wi-Fi pineapple will have the ability to load bulletins from pineapple.com. So this is exactly what you see from here. And of course, when you go into the modules page and when you click manage modules, you can select get modules from Wi-Fi pineapple.com. And because you have internet access, you'll be able to absorb and ingest all this information for you to download the modules into. So there you've seen it, how quickly we could actually use Wi-Fi Pineapple and directly from here, we'll be able to deploy this wireless access points, scan network for devices, and look out for potential modules that we can install as part of it. And there's a lot of more key capabilities like building a landing page or building a redirection or to actually do SSL stripping and a lot of other key modules that can help you sniff our important information. So I hope you've learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer any of those questions. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.